Hello there, my name is Evelyn Wanjiro and today I am really grateful to God for what he has done. Allow me to whisper. Why? Because she can hear me, yes. I'm privileged to honor my mom today. Yes, her name is Helen Mohonja Kenyoa. Yeah, a very amazing woman of God that loves God with zeal. A woman that loves her children with passion. And God has given me an opportunity to become a blessing to her. And uh, today I'm going to gift her with a piece of land. My goodness, Lord, I'm so emotional. I am overwhelmed of what the Lord can do in someone's life. And so this has been a desire that I've had in my heart for so many years. And God has given me that opportunity. And not only me, but everyone that has come on board to just support this project to become a success. And today, I just want to tell you why I am doing this. Yes, it's because I am my mother's daughter. And uh, you know the Bible says that honor your parents so that you may have a long life. Yes, I'm honoring my mom because it's not because I want a long life. Of course, I want a long life, yeah. <laughs> but it is a command in the Bible. And so my mom has been that woman who has really struggled with us. Some of you who have known my story know that I've, I've been raised in Nakuru. And so one time we found ourselves in the ghettos of Nakuru, Pondamali and Ronda, if you know that place, yeah. And I remember this particular time, I was really sick and I started kind of hallucinating. And by that time, my mom was selling maize in the streets of Nakuru. I remember a neighbor rushing outside to call her in the marketplace. Mama Evelyn, come. Your daughter is just talking to herself. And I remember my mom coming in and carrying me on her back. And I was around 10, 11 years old, 12 there. And she rushed me to the hospital. I was big, you know, that's a big child. And rushing to the hospital, crying on the streets. My goodness, that is one of the things that really made me so emotional about my mom seeing her washing, even mopping the church for her to be able to get a hundred shillings to raise the five of us to ensure that we have food on the table. I'm the fourth born in the family of five kids and just seeing my mom ensuring that we have, we have gone to school after losing my dad back in 2006 and after experiencing the elections, uh, the, 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 the violence that were, were during the elections time in 2007, I have seen her suffering with us. I have seen her going extra mile to see that we are able to go to school. We are able to have food on the table. I don't know about you, but today I want to challenge somebody become a blessing to your parent that it's gonna make your life completely a 360 turn around if you have ever had anything like that yes i believe doing that is going to bring a, bring a lot of blessings in my life and so i thank god for this opportunity and today i can't wait to see that smile I remember my mom being so stressed until she ended up having high blood pressure, ended up having, uh, she became diabetic, my goodness. And now, her doing this for her, I believe is gonna bring a lot of joy. Seeing this widow, putting that smile on her face, I can't wait. This story started a long, while Kidogo, it was when, I think two years ago, when Evelyn shared with me the dream that she wanted to uh, to bless her mother with 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 a piece of land. But at that time, I'm telling you, Hakuku had any future. So we're excited, we are anxious at the same time, we are whispering because she's not supposed to hear us shooting this thing. So feelings go all over, but by the grace of God, 
we are going to do this and you know what yes you know what you know some of these things sometimes you just need to desire yes. and let let god see the heart right it doesn't mean that you you doesn't need to have a lot of money yes. just have the desire desire tell god, to jesus a tell to god and he will facilitate for sure. and for us we have the desire as you say two years two years is not a joke you know we're not shouting because she's around we don't have to hear <laughs> so two years is not a joke hey also if you, if you desire tell it to god it happens my friend don't, don't give up if you really want to bless your parents keep dreaming keep praying god is going to enable you do this yeah. again with Kejran Yako on your left and on your right and tell them God loves you. God loves you. Are we just kept looking at he loves you more. He loves you more. I've not told them I've not held the microphone for the past I think oh, how many? Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven months down the line. And this is a great opportunity. What a great way to start off holding the microphone on such a day. Hi! Hi! Are you just kept looking I, uh, I am really happy today and uh, I am really honored that all of you honored my invitation on such short notice. In Amanisha, Yani, for you guys, some of you I called you at 11.30 tonight, no, no, last night, hey, you know, and um, you all came and wow, what a day, tell your neighbor what a day. What a day. Some of you are thinking, yeah, lunch here, you lean, tell what water can you lean. Eh, machine is a liver, machine is around, come with a meat, with a meat, wave two and a corner, wave two. <laughs> yeah. But uh, before I say what the reason why I call all of you here, I can see some beautiful people coming in. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. So, um, this person has been a great role model in my life. And some of you know that person, some of you don't know that person. And uh, this person has walked the journey with me. And today, my husband, I would like to call my husband and my mom, Jen. Yes. I'm going to ask you to come here. 
Ande watu wangu wale wa. So, my husband and I today we thought of uh, blessing my mom. Blessing in my life. Oh, wow. That's great. That's great. And I don't know where to start. This has been, you know, before I conceived and when I held my child on my hands, I said it is an answered prayer. Amen. But today, this is the greatest answered prayer for us as Kenya's family. I think my husband and I, we thought about it. And I called all my siblings. I think my brother is here as well. And uh, I want to tell you something. You've been a blessing in my life. You raising five of us in Nakuru has not been easy. I have seen you selling maize in the streets of Nakuru. I've seen you selling charcoal until your fingers is not I've seen you washing church, mopping the church so that you get a hundred shillings, so that to live a steamer, some to make up a giza. I have seen you carry me at the age of 11, not being able to walk because you may take a malaria in kitchen, una kimbia na mimi. I've seen you struggling with us, even when we lost our dad. Five of us. I have seen what were known what could have harass. I have seen the landlord harassing you to Nafungi Wanyumba. Baka Waneka Mbawi to come down. You to sing here. I have seen you walk in the hand. And when I conceived, nobody could understand me. You came and stayed in my house. For almost one year now, until what we are going to be doing, we are going to because in the Nuya traditions, it is not allowed. Today, I want to bless you. I remember you going to a friend of yours in Sober. You can hear me. You know you are not talking to Shamba Sober. I, na tamani yata ni miskumoja mungu watu abaritu.
for their parents, but I know this is the greatest way to get the blessings for your parents. Yes. The Bible says that honor your parents so that you may live. Yes. I'm honoring you in absentia of the day. And I know where he is right now. He's celebrating. We want you to be happy. You've been sick, high blood pressure, scarring, took a two up on a two. But I believe, even by the spot, by the grace of God, and by the help of God, to Tajenga. So they have, they have, um, they've started a foundation or an initiative, an initiative called Zawadi Mzazi. Yes. Zawadi Mzazi in ISOP. And the CEO of ISOP is here today. Uh, this is so emotional, and uh, even I share a lot in common. One, we come from Nakuru. Um, number two, I'm born, I'm, I'm brought up by a single mother. Uh, my name is Naftali Muni, I'm the CEO of High School Properties. We're going to tell you more about High School Properties. I uh, brought up in Nakuru, a single mother, as a squatter, we also didn't have land. Uh, as a company, we have done 5,000 titles. Uh, from 2016, when we left banking, um, from an international bank to do this. And the first people to start the uh, Zawadi in Zazi is this beautiful family, the wow. Jesus family. And I want to this from here, I'm going to request us to relax. It's very emotional. Uh, and then we're going to take us through the journey, okay? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Um, to be a journey in a, in a, in a, in a, for the last five years, about six years. But I've realized that we have never done, we have never awarded our parents. And as a country, we have realized that it's so many young people who are building for their parents. True? Yes. So many people are employed. And then they start establishing their parents. I am one of them. Okay? And so when Evelyn reached out, so, Mom, today's your day. Um, companies have started for three things. <coughs> companies have started, one, they start to think they are making profits. But usually the will of God is that we can affect people mm. and the planet. Okay? They are called the three P's. Profits, people, and planet. So, so, so when we see this happening, my mom crying here. I did this for my mom. When I was employed uh, in a bank, and it was this emotional, resettling my mom. Okay? And we never knew it would be a big movement. Actually, we have so many people from the U.S. who have reached out to us. Wakuja wazawadi wazazi wow. Sawa sawa. You want to say something? Yes, sir. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, congratulations, ma'am. And Evelyn, that's such a lovely, lovely surprise to your mom. And, you know, uh, some of us, PSC to me work na my mom a very emotional journey. And in fact, to grow up, akuna mtu alikuwa nafikiria we can amount to anything. And people thought, unajua, ah, uu kijana kwanza uyu asha, 
I shall write you off because I was not always born again. I got born again only in 2013. And to be honest, since the day I said yes to Jesus, my life has never been the same again. I tell people I did not change my career. I changed my God. Praise Jesus. I start serving the right God. Amen. So I was serving the world. And right now when I'm serving God, there is no better way to serve God than showing love and showing love to my parents, showing love to my wife and showing love to my children. So I'm so honored, uh, even for Evelyn and uh, High Soap for inviting us here today to be part of this. So I want to invite even anyone that is here or even someone watching this video and you would want to come let's do this together let's be neighbors let our parents settle in a place where we can patana december tunakula kanyama pamoja and we celebrate what god has done in our life and i pray the same grace that is running in this room today shall be extended to you in jesus name amen, amen. amen. So thank you so much. May God bless you. We love you. As the Jesus family, we wish you nothing but the best. And there are so many blessed coincidences in this, in this journey. One, Evelyn was telling us that the group, remind me the name of this beautiful group, Visioners, we are planning to go to Evelyn's mom in August. Okay? But this came earlier. All right? That's one coincidence. Number two, today is Madaraka Day. Okay, you know, you know what happened on Madaraka Day? Yes. You know why we celebrate Madaraka Day? Yes. Is when we took our land from the British. Yes. Sawa sawa. Hii ndio siku tulipata Madaraka. And how else better to do it than to award our parents? Okay, I started this journey with my wife. She's here. Teresa. Uh, Simama. Yes. My love. Okay. Okay. We've been married for 12 years. Yes, we look young, but we married in 2009, in December. That is when we wed. And we started this business together, but we've realized that it has grown. It has grown, and we have so many partners. So we'd like you to look into us, just follow High Soul Properties, see what we've done. We are at International House, second floor. And what we're going to do today is that we have the transfer documents for mom to sign here. So... I'm going. I want the high soap team to come here, please, Kujeni. This is a few of us. We are 35 in total. Wow. In Nairobi, a branch in uh, Nakuru, uh, and in Nyandarwa, where I decided to settle my mom. Another coincidence, apparently. Evelyn told us today that the mom has always wanted to have land in Sobea. And Sobea is where we got that land. Okay? Sobea is the new, is the new industrial zone in Nakuru. After Nakuru uh, became a city, Simba Cement did a serious factory. Uh, we are actually two kilometers from Simba Cement. Right? And so many other factories coming up there. So, ma'am, welcome to Sobea. In that area alone, this is not our first project. We have done... 1,900 uh, plots, given titles and sold. We have a baby called uh, Nyumbayangu. Nyumbayangu is an initiative of Heiso Properties. So we're going to go through the construction together. Wow. The house you want. We have partnered with NCDA. Uh, we have partnered with Asako called Asako. And yes, we're going to do a beautiful house for it. Um, God has blessed us. We believed uh, we can do this. God has worked with us. We are starting a branch in Zambia, Osaka. Wow. Okay? Yes. Before the close of this year. Wow. We have found an opportunity there. And yes, we are going to Zawadi Wazazi wa Zambia. Yeah. I want to give this back. Uh, they're going to be doing the official signing of the sale agreement. Right. So we are signing transfers. We got her documents at Akama Hajui. You are in you are paid to Bonato. <laughs> so they enabled us to prepare these documents. Uh, Beatrice Walongoa is our admin manager. She's going to take mom through. 
Uh, can we clap for man? The next page, please. Today we declare that this is the first of so much land that his family is going to own. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes, so that uh, the Abundas family will leave land Amen. to their children. Yes. Not the opposite. Amen. Okay? Now what we want to go up, I would like you to tap into this. Amen. Tap into this. Yes. Tap into this. Land is the only thing that God created and has never grown an inch. Mm -hmm. It was created once. Mm -hmm. It only grows in value. Yes. So it's not crying to own land. Mm -hmm. so it's a great thing. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Wow. Sifa na utukufu. Simrudia Mungu. Maneno yamepotea. Amina shock. My son Ata sisemi mahari. <laughs> Umemaliza. Sina deni. Aisha, <laughs> umelipa mahari. Umeisha. Umeisha. Kwa majina naitwa Helen Mwonja Kenyo. Nimeolewa kule Mranga nyumbani nikakameka kule nilizaliwa lakini naishi na koro hai so mbarikiwe sana amen mimi najua nimepona amen god has answered my prayers amen it has been a silent cry in my heart amen when i see people of my age when I see people I've been working with, they have all the properties, but I'm in a rental house. I thank Mtoto Mshindi. Amen. When COVID came, na wakasema wanaenda kudunga watu shindano, niliambia watoto wangu, I'm not going. Paka Mshindi azaliwe, ndio nitaenda kutunga. Maana niliofia naweza kufa kama sitashika mshindi. <laughs> Ukisikia watu wa sukari na pressure wanapata hiyo shindano I, I, I had fear in me but I'm free. Amen. Mungu awabariki sana watoto wangu but I want to thank my in-law Mama Agonda. Mimi nimeokoka lakini siwezi jilinganisha na wokofu na Pastor Lucy. When I lost my in-law, ambaye ni mzee wake, tuliona ni kama some of us we shall backslide. Did I know tumewachiwa mchungaji? Because the, those days I've been in Agunda's house. Mama has been coming all the time. Na kikuja ni kuomba. Paka hata mina jiona safe, I'm not safe. We have somebody to lean on. Amen. And I'm leaning. Watoto wameni bariki, watoto ni wake. So, she has blessed me. Amen. I salute you, mommy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mungu wa bariki. Amen. Na mimi, umobalize vikundi sana na kuru. Yes. Na niko na treasurer wangu wa kikundi hapa. Tunajiita Masi. Kwa hivyo, shizia na hitu wa wini. Kwa hivyo, mutapata wateja. Amen. Inakuru. I promise. 
Zaidi ya yote Utapaki kuwa mungu Hapa na omega Upali lipika mwe Zaidi ya yote Utapaki kuwa mungu Naona imesika My goodness Before we say zaidi ya yote I have a team that has really uh, opened my eyes in a deeper way. Uh, when we came to Nairobi, these people um, have really challenged us in life. And I want to bow and challenge this truth, isn't it? And so I went to sing in this church in um, Joska. And Pastor Karuki told me, Mimi, see if you can hear anything. But I'm going to go to the Mahali when you talk about challenge in life and my share. And so I joined this chama it's called Visioners, where we come, we are around how many couples now? 16 couples, we meet monthly, and uh, we identify a land, Tunanunua, Tunagawana, Shamba. And today I want to honor them, they came, a few of them, because of a short notice. Pastor Karaoke is the one who introduced me, Pastor Karaoke and Pastor Wawero. I'd like you to come and just say hello, and Pastor Wawero can say something and then just Habari zenyu, bana asifiwe. Kwa majina yangu naitua Reverend Robert Karioki na hudumu na kanisa naitua Hope Covenant Church. Nikuwa nimesimama hapa na shukuru mungu kuona ubari Ivrin na agunda wamefika kwa sababu Ivrin nikuwa na muinvite kwetu kanisani kutoka all the way from Nakuru. Na halikuwa na kuja peke haki ya kuwa mdogo na halikuwa na sauti kubwa kuliko yee. Then, roa yangu ikampenda, nikamwambia, Ivrin, hama nakuru kuja na Robi. Na halipo kuja na Robi, nika join the studio yao, nika anza kwenda pale kufanya tu recording, na tumetembea na njisa farirefu. Folil, mungu wa mwatoa mbali, na today nikiwaona, I'm proud of you. Bwana Asifiwe, as I start, ma'am, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Ivrin and Agunda, thank you so much for making mom for making mom's dream come true i'm proud of you and uh, thank you and kanyagia hapo asante bwana asifiwe i'm reverend edward waweru i pastor pefa church kamulu and a great friend to these guys here uh, i also want to say congratulations nime nimeguswa in fact uh Siju kama hata mimi nita identify familia moja na mimi niseto mzazi hata kama si mama yangu. Yes. I've really felt it. Mbaka leo nikasikia kunyenyekea nikasema. Yani kumbe kuwa na maali unaitaushago. Si kawaida. I promise to be part of the project ukianza kujengwa. Evelyn. Na mimi. Mimi nataka ni promise a hundred bags of cement. Woo! Did I just hear a hundred bags of semen? Yes! Whoa! Yes! Okay! <laughs> My wife is here, and she was here. Uh, we run uh, HL Interiors. She runs a company that does interiors. HL means High Soap Limited Interiors. Okay? And uh, what do we give to mom? Please come say. HL Interiors uh, to Kopale downtown. Uh, we have three shops there. Now that I do the interior part, all bathroom accessories on, on us. Yes. Okay. And I hope, I hope uh, Beatrice, you're writing this down. Okay. So we have 100 bags of cement. Uh, and uh, through Nyumbayangu, apparently also Ebenezer heads Nyumbayangu, we're going to give one lorry. Yamawe. Sio. Yamawe. Yamawe. Yeah. Yeah, foundation. Okay. That is from us, that is from Hisop, that is from Nyumbayangu. Okay, great. Together with my wife, we are also brand ambassadors of a company called Modokinjo. Na tumesema iyo nyumba isinunuliwe rangi, tutanunua. Inside, exterior and interior. And as we've said, we write everything down. Together with our partners, Modokinjo Paints and Cement, nyumba imesha pako rangi. It doesn't matter the size. Yes. Great, 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 great. I'm here to invite you. Kujeni. <laughs> <laughs>
kufika ni mkono kweli umenipeba Ni mkono wa Mungu umenibeba nibeba Thank you And then I just want to thank my mom in love Ooh this woman is a powerhouse say powerhouse She is an anchor in our family we lost our dad this uh, last year June and so this year, this month, it will be one year, uh, and um, we did not know what we were going to do because he was a cover for everybody in the family. But God has strengthened mom. She's been sick, but God strengthened her, and she became now the pillar of the family. We all look up to her. Kama ni maumbi ni kisikia kumefika muisho, mami is there. And when I was pregnant, she came and saw me. I was very sick, and she just sat there every day. In fact, anakatazwa school enyama. So ninajua Maureen, my sister-in-law, ana kazi yanga sana because she's a nutritionist. Ako samu ya sinisikie. Akimkazia, nilikuwa nafikiria mamia nakuja na tengeneza kanyama akule. Kumbe, alikuwa naona venye niko vibaya. And so, she prays there with me. And when I conceived, she told me, huyu mutoto afichwe venye yesu alifichwa. Asionekane kwa sababu you've stayed for so long. And we've been praying. And so, Mami, I want to honor you today. You've been a mother to me. You've been a mentor to me. You taught me how to, 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 to behave well in ministry. You, every time, nikifanya kitu, nikitua wimbo, unanembea, wanjiro, hapo ulisoma Bible, ulisikia, wanjiro. Ile, eh, wimbo yangu ya mungu mkuu, munajo ile makeup venye nakaanga, kama umuona yo video. She was, wanjiro, hii, me, masho, masho, imefanya nini? You know, me, I shadow imeja, and you know, She's just been there. You know that uh, the person that rebukes you in love? She'll rebu <laughs> she's, been, she's been that person that rebukes me with love. And I know that is one of the things that so many gospel musicians wouldn't want to. Especially when you're in a public, you're a public figure. You think that you know it all. Even how to dress. No, 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 no. You know, yeah, yeah, and so even my dress code has been monitored very well. When you see me, there are people behind me, there are people behind me that are really, you know, looking, looking at me and they want to shape me. And so, <laughs> you want to hug me? You didn't know that you teach me those? I hear, I hear, I hear. Hmm? Have you seen any nose that looks like mine? Iyo mapo me yona mahali. Just wave, basi ataka moto. That's my, that's our baby brother. We are five of us. Uh, my elder sister, Diana, and then we have uh, we have Jackie, and then we have uh, Fidelis, and then me, and then my brother. That's our family and my mom now. I want to say thank you to one man before I say thank you to my father. My husband, I'll always, I'll always introduce you the way I've always introduced you. My music producer, we produce music and children. <laughs> you know, you know the, this guy, I, anytime I want to talk about this guy, I get emotional because he's, he resigned his job to become my music producer. And the woman you're seeing here today, he partnered with God to make me who I am today. And so I'm grateful that you're in my life, the priest of our home. And now I call you Baba Mshindi. You know, I don't have much to say, but I just want to say, God bless you, and I honor you again. Thank you. Hello everybody and I am standing here right next to greatness. 
right next to the future with the head marketing manager of High Sops company, Mr. Ebenezer. Karibu sana, sir. Asante sana. Yeah, it's a pleasure being here. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for even gracing us today, Yanni. And maybe you just tell us, um, e project ya zawadia wazazi, how did it come about? Okay. Um, first, uh, High Sops properties is, is, uh, he is very privileged uh, to be doing such a program. Uh, it is a campaign uh, that is geared towards people appreciating their parents. It may not be your real parent, it may be your guardian, someone who has stood with you through the tough times. That is a person we want you to appreciate. So um, that is what we are, we are pushing for right now. Ule mwananchi yako pale anaangalia na sema, ai, mimi nitaifika kununulia mimi mzazi wangu ama my my grandmother somewhere some land. What how can you help such a person? Okay, um people come from different backgrounds. Some were raised by their grandparents, uh, some were raised by their uncles. We are, we understand that people are are uh, different levels in terms of income and everything but we have organized for financing in many of our projects which means that you can actually uh, come and book a plot with us and we get you financing and you're able to pay over a long period of time so that one is geared towards uh, helping people purchase land not only uh, under zawadi mzazi but under all our projects that's what we do yeah that's amazing so if you're at home there just it is possible like kidogo kidogo haba na haba jaza kibaba yeah yeah uh, i would like to say something small about high soft properties high soft properties is geared towards uh, enabling people to purchase land and also get homes so we also sell uh, homes under high soft properties so it doesn't matter what you want to give to your parent we can sort you out when it comes to to land and housing you can actually purchase land from us and get it built for your parent yeah so that is something that we are really campaigning for so going forward all the way uh, even from ne from next year we'll be having such a program every second quarter of the year zawadi mzazi na high soft properties i can give them the contact uh, which is uh, 0707 zero. Uh, you, you are welcome to call us anytime. Uh, we encourage people to give us uh, a breakdown on what they want to do. Uh, probably they want to set a certain amount of financing towards the, a certain project. We can help them allocate uh, with their land allocation and maybe help them uh, plan their financing. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Also for your time. <laughs> Thank you too.